My name is Tim Sheldon. I am the Early Learning Director at the YMCA Early Learning Center, and I want to tell you a story about Dominique. Dominique is my granddaughter who I started off fostering. Both parents are disabled, and it just, it was, it was a lot for them. They tried, they did what they did their best, but it just, it just wasn't enough for that, for her. They had a hard time managing places to stay, so she kind of bounced around for a while, um, for the first three years of her life. She was, it was very difficult in the beginning. Um, like I said, she didn't have anything. She couldn't speak um, at the time. When I first met Dominique, uh, we had we had lots of different um, challenging behaviors that showed up right away. Some aggressive behavior toward uh, adults, toward other students, um, running away from the classroom, um, those types of things where uh, really we would just try to incrementally make her successful just for 15 minutes and then and then a half hour and then an hour and then hopefully half a day and then and then an entire day. They told me when I first started um, that they would never give up on her and they never have. <laughs> so that was a blessing. As the KC Ready Force teacher mentor, I partner with the teacher and the teaching staff to implement high quality practices. And we implement these practices so that children can develop optimally, they can develop healthy, they can succeed in school and ultimately in life. So um, once we put these practices in place, most time children follow the directions, children learn, um, children relate to the teacher and to one another very well. But sometimes, and this was the case with Dominique, the supports that we have put in place or the strategies we have put in place were not enough. So I immediately thought, let's call Mary. So my first step as a behavior specialist is to come into the classroom and observe her behavior. So I came in and observed her behavior that day and she was having a pretty rough day. She was having a lot of behaviors that were a challenge to the teacher and a challenge to the other students in terms of making it a really fun learning environment for the other children and for her. I had a really, really hard day that day. Mr. Tim has these little sentences of wisdom and they're very short, but they're very sweet. <laughs> and I made the statement, I said, maybe I'm expecting her to be perfect. And he stopped dead in his tracks and he turned around and he looked at me real funny. He said, what are you talking about? And he said, she is perfect. She's perfectly Dominique. And that sentence has stuck with me and every time I get frustrated, I think about that because it changes how I think about it. Well, once Mary got involved and we did see the need to move forward to a full behavior support team, and we do talk to the first teacher, and the first teacher is the family. In the beginning, uh, when the behavior specialist was introduced, I was worried. I didn't know what that meant. Never had one before. But when she came to the meetings, um, her and Ruby had plans. They had suggestions. They they told me what they saw. Um, sometimes they saw good behavior, sometimes it was bad behavior. Um, but they let us know and they, they, could, they were able to pinpoint where the issue seemed to be. While Dominique's in the classroom, we're also talking with Grandma. We're trying strategies and sending information back and forth. Grandma's giving us information, we're giving her information, and we're trying different things. When the behavior that I saw change at home, was when Mary and Ruby and Tim and I presented ourselves to Dominique as a team. We were on her team. She had a whole team of people that was working with her and that was gonna help her. And she lit up and she thought that that was awesome, that she had a team and she would come home and she'd say, my team said I did a good job. <laughs> Without the support of Mary, uh, and Case Ready For is being there for the students and the families uh, all to connect with one another. Um, it, we would be left to our own 
to come up with different ways to do these to do these interventions and adaptations. An amazing thing about KC Ready Fours is that we can provide these high quality services to child care providers at no cost. They were absolutely awesome. Um, her behavior improved and it was like it was tailored to Dominique, um, to what I needed, what Dominique needed, and they, like I said, they always seemed to know when I needed a push, you know, encouragement, and it was all free.